going on. Uh, I've been hearing this stuff about Scientology lately, dude. Like the past few days, it's like been a trend. It's like they're really see they're in order to usher in the the new age of Lucifer, the UN's doctrine, Lucius Trust. They have to basically expose that all these things are really frauds. And we're going to see this. We're going to watch the dominoes fall. Uh, yeah, it's just like the Catholic Church with all the uh, the kids they, they've raped reputedly. And, you know, and they've been actually, it, it, it happens. Kathy O'Brien, uh, she talks about it too. That it was Catholic schools where they make sex kittens and, you know. Uh, and they go to churches. And they take them to places where no one else has access to. You know, they can keep it under wraps and, up, and closed up tight. But it's coming down. It says that everything that was hidden shall be revealed. And this is before uh, the second coming. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, or, well, at least that's the way I perceive it at from my perception at the moment right now. Uh, and, and yet I'm seeing it in my life. Uh, uh, no one's immune from the, from that. You know what I'm saying? But, mm, you know, it's going to make you appreciate it when these things pass away. You know what I'm saying? When we don't have to live under tyranny and in total uh, Stasi life, uh, Stasi ghetto, East Germany life. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, really, why did we get the rap music that corralled us to the ghetto? Like the, they did to the Jews and uh, burn them in the ovens. Okay? Uh... This game, I, I just seen it in a movie too. In a show, they use this lighthouse that's in San Andreas, supposedly where there's a fucking a cult called Epsilon, which is based on freaking Scientology. And it's just like a row. You want to join the Rosicrucians? Well, you got to pay your monthly fee. Yeah, I, I think they do it in everything. Being in a fraternal order, you got to pay dues. But then you get, they have parties and everyone's invited basically. Like the bikers do the same thing. Uh, Anyway, and it's a recruitment strategy, and it was developed straight up by the military, and then it was leaked to the street. It wasn't the mili it was who trained the military. You know what I'm saying? Those Hessians, uh, which are really, they're Catholics, man. They're knights. You know what I'm saying? They're the Templars, which is, they really worship the Madonna, which is the queen of heaven, which is Isis. Dude, I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you, but all the information's out there. You can go validate that for yourself. I ain't got all the time in the world. I don't have all the resources. I can I can spot off them key words like a like a G though, buddy. And I can spot them out. That's what I do. So let me do it and you do what you do. And uh anyway, this predictive programming is in the game and they had did a TV show about it where they said the dude was schizophrenic and he believed he was in the game and he couldn't distinguish between reality and life. And the reason they made the show is PR damage control the fact that they did leak the real strategy in the freaking game? Dude, these dudes from the military got court-martialed because they were uh, liaisons to the fucking uh, the gamers, and they leaked the real information, and the dudes got too accurate, and then they got in trouble for it. Like, they did treason. Like, like when you give the enemy your plans, and you're caught doing that shit, you, getting big, you should be in big freaking trouble. You should be getting spanked with sticks, basically, at least, and yeah, and then put in a freaking cage in front of everyone, kind of, in a way, like that old, when they used to do that, like they, uh, you know, someone who really did something wrong, they used to go to leave them sitting in a dang tree, basically, they didn't kill them, they, they just, they left them, they had to sit there and, and wait it out, you know, and think about it, uh, they don't do that anymore, actually, you're rewarded for your betrayal. You know what I'm saying? You're rewarded for your service. But on the low low, though, these same Hessian type motherfuckers that got the both sides, they play both sides all the time. And uh, it's a big trick. You know what I'm saying? They send their guys to both sides. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and L. Ron Hubbard uh, was friends with this Jack Parsons dude. And uh, Crowley, they all corresponded. You got to understand these ancient dudes. The, the high-level dudes, they all corresponded with each other in a lot of cases. And they, they traded information or they were part of the secret brotherhoods that have all the information anyway. So the guys were just leaked the information and they got to be the ones who claim it. But though they weren't really responsible for finding it. Kind of like what they did with uh, Christopher Columbus. You know what I'm saying? In an America situation. So, 
this this stuff is real. And then okay, uh, th there was a, there was a video called Cults of Abuse. It was called Multiviews Cults of Abuse. Now, now you can't find it on the internet anymore. Just like in Lies We Trust. But anyway, it shows how it's basically based on something called the CIA Kubark man manuals, which is just a it's a way of in questioning people. It's Stasi, it's fucking Inquisition. See, that's who taught all these fucking people this shit. That's who the guys who created all these intelligence agencies are. It was the fucking Inquisition. It was or the you know the, uh, like on uh, Braveheart that that. Priesty dude in a robe who's torturing William Wallace. You know what I'm saying? It's like those types. Uh, all right, all right, that's who's responsible for it. So look, if something come is birthed in such a fucking corrupt, horrible thing, how could anything good come out of it? Okay. Anyway, high level Satanist alien connections. Uh, and then that's what they believe. Something like some alien. Uh, shit in a volcano and plants came. You know what I'm saying? And this person was saying they believe that there's multitudes of alien beings living in every single person. And that sounds freaking identical. That's not schizophrenia. That's called trauma-based mind control. That's called brainwashing. It's called uh, uh, what? and also in the Bible there's a dude called the demoniac who has thousands of demons living in him. So actually, they confirm, the Bible confirms what they're saying in Tiantology, but they're just saying that's the devil's people. That's the fallen angels. That's the watchers. And if you really watch them, these people who communicated with the watchers, it seems like, yeah, there is something going on. Supernatural, multidimensional, space alien, time traveler. I mean, look, dude. I, I, I can't tell you exactly what's going on because I don't know. But I've heard a lot of stuff, compelling stuff from vast sources. And they're all pointing to the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's how I could talk about all this stuff and just apply it abroad. It's the forest and the trees. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could hit it. Got to hit it from many angles all at once. Like uh, being one dude fighting 100 people. It's like you got to be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And nowhere all at once. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so it's a, here's another thing. On that movie, Cults of Abuse, it shows also how they are experts at gaslight magicianry of, like, of provoking you into a situation and then putting you on camera. Anyone who talks shit about them, like, supposedly, I should get stalked by the men in black because I made this video. According, no, according to the shit that they really do. These motherfuckers are gang stalk. That's gang stalker central. That's how they keep people in the cult. Because if they, if they flee the cult, they send the cult after them as a group and they fucking brainwash them and, and, and corral them back to the organization for rehab, for rehabilitation or an evaluation. So, I mean, look, they'll sanitize the word they use for the public, for the PR image, this image. You know what I'm saying? Listen, images are not always what they appear. Or they, they can be totally fake these days. I mean, literally, they could snatch something. They could just create a video from out of thin air. It could look real to you. It could look like a real person. They could reverse it. You got to remember, look. Especially, look, who's got the resources to do it? Think about that. That's a good way to, to see who's doing this. Why? You, you follow the money in a way. And uh, it, that's, I mean, that applies up close and abroad. That, that's that right there. Follow the money. The little money goes somewhere else. Or it came from some big money somewhere. So, I mean, it's just, it's connected. It uh, circulates. You know what I'm saying? Just like this in information. It, it only comes out in increments. Only certain people are speaking on it. Uh, only spe certain people can see it because uh, they're privy uh, and they get they learn to get that gut feeling or it's like maybe the gut in a way is is like a spirit. It's like a, it's like a, it's your your sixth sense, you could say. And uh, everyone's got it. Uh, you just got to realize you got it and 
and, and use it. It's a spiritual thing, really. It's not. It's not so mis mystical, really. It's just. It's. It's. Think about it. It's like, look, what does your stomach do, man? Breaks down food by acids. When you mix metal and acid, what happens? You get electronic charge, man. Baghdad battery, right? Right. Baghdad battery. Your stomach is a Baghdad battery in a way. Okay. And what's your consciousness? Well, it's obviously something to do with this electrical component that's part of me that keeps me alive. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's it, it. So you learn to, it's like, and it's in the Bible as well. It tells you that you have this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and if you can uh, learn what the Holy Spirit is and how to have it indwell in you, I, I think it's something to do like that as well. Uh, I can't prove that at the moment, but look, it just, you know, it seems like, uh, it's self-evident. I've seen it, man. Empirically, I feel it. You know, people say just because someone felt it, there's, there's, no, that's not, uh, evidence or that's not, uh, you, it's like, listen, it's not, it's never concrete. But you can t you take it into consideration. If certain people have that ability to use that gut like that, they I got a bad feeling. That I mean, sometimes you should listen to them, but sometimes you shouldn't too, because being sensitive to those energies, those en you can't see them, you can only feel them. So you think they can't be tricky and lie to you sometimes as well. So that's that's also takes humbleness. You know, to to and not be prideful and always think you got to be right. You're always right. You can't ever be wrong. You know, it's stronger. That mindset is stronger than the prideful mindset. Uh, and it's in you know, that, that, that that's another thing they do in these cults. Oh, you're part of the special people. You're the chosen ones. Uh, let's kill ourselves and we'll go meet the UFO. This has really happened, Jim Jones. They're CIA, uh, pseudo Christian uh, or cultic uh, alien UFO cult, uh, MK Ultra drug ops in a lot of cases. And Scientology is just basically like it's, I think it's called, man, what is it called? Driving or something like that. It's where they keep conditioning you and they drive shit into your mind, dude. And they do this in the media because look, a lot of the media people are like Scientologists. Anyway, so they believe in some real weird, whacked out, government-created CIA Kubark manual type shit. Uh, I mean, that's deep. That's heavy. And then you look at pimps in the 70s. Where did this information come from? Same thing. Kubark, CIA. It's mind control. It was a street way they could, they could utilize fucking mind control. And it's like, it's basically like subversive hypnosis. Uh... And with all their new electronic technologies, I could only imagine. And, and think about that. It's the same thing as the Catholics doing their confession booth. That's really flip it to the devil's side, how they use it. And it's intelligence gathering. What if that guy in there, he doesn't give a F what you're saying. Other than if he could use it against you somehow to keep you paying money to the church. Oh, shoot. You owe us a lot of money this week. We know you don't rob that train. We know you don't rob that train, Carl. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just joking. Don't take me too serious sometimes, too, because, look, I do get carried away. Forgive me. I, when I get excited, I tend to uh, jump up, man. And, and it's, you know, it's not always a good thing. <laughs> but once in a while, you know, you see these good things happen, like some light, some clarity come on this situation that it's a bad thing, dude. And it's one of their it's a manipulation tactic. It's total. Uh, it's a total total robbery, man. Highway robbery is what this shit is. That's what my grandpa used to say when when the when the something bad the economy would shift, he'd go, Man, this is highway robbery. You know what I'm saying? That's that's freaking funny. But I mean it really is. These guys are highway robbers. Scientology, they're liars, magicians, con men, matchstick men, worse, man, worse than that. Just straight up devils, man. Like literally devils. Like that's a looks like a human. But a devil's controlling him. And he, they even think that. There's millions of aliens in every side of every person. And that's your new age, age of Aquarius, uh, Maitreya type, uh, Maitreya, Betreya type uh, shizzle. You know what I'm saying? This is some uh, Aeon of Horus uh, kid rape. 